G'day legends, welcome back to the weekend builds. Jed here. Uh, this is day two of the Volvo slash Barra build. So, uh, we've got a couple of hurdles we've hit. So, um, let me just show you what we've got. So, had to go out after doing a bit of interweb search and found out I need a FG sump. So, a rear hump instead of the front hump. So, at the moment, I've got BF Modi here. Uh, just the oil draining so I can get the sump off and um, try and get the engine into the bay again today and do a bit of test fitting. Hello right legends, so just giving the sump a bit of a clean so I'm going to uh, start marking up what I've got to do. So I've got to actually cut, let me just move the camera for you. So I've got to pretty much cut from right about here all the way back there, straight through. Guys, so just starting to undo all the sump bolts here, get it um, get it all off, and then uh, we'll have another look with it off. Uh, probably do a trial fit. With, a, with the sump off and then might throw the other sump on and see how much we've got to cut out of it. But um, yeah, let's have some fun. Just mark them so I know I need to talk them next time, talk them properly next time. This is it here, so. So, BTR gearbox mated to an FG sump. So, it's just an NA, NA sump at the moment. Uh, our biggest problem is having to clear the cross member so we're looking at probably having to cut through here through here take that whole piece out and get another piece welded in uh, still I'm in an iron about which way we might go about it whether or not we do the complete sump or do we take a bit out of the the cross member as well uh, and then just weld it back up as well. Still got to drill the oil drain for the turbo. But this is some, um, so I met a really cool dude named Nick on Gumtree the other week. He's done one of these before. So you, this is a photo of his sump. So I might just copy the same as that. Bit of dimensions on the FG sump they've been working with. And here he is, our engine bay. Trying to get my lights working. So at the moment, I've loosened cross member off. So I might put some 10 mil spaces in there, so it pushes everything down, gives a bit more room for the motor. Um, sway bar is just sitting loose at the moment, so I'll probably put 10 mil spaces under it. Um, 
Don't want to go too far because of the brake lines. Don't want to reef them out. But we're just slowly starting to tidy up the bay. So fuel lines and that, I'll probably pull all them out. We'll probably go dash six all the way through. Still haven't decided. Still need to get someone out to deal with the air con. I haven't done that, that's just been lazy. Yeah, give the bay a bit of a clean, deal with some rust, probably just paint it all in um, paint it all up so it all looks okay. But uh, this is going to be a bit of a slow process. Lab. One good thing by looks for the Volvos though is this little hole here. Looks like it might be a good spot to run in a cooler. Because there's one there. And one just there, so if we get rid of all the aircon, it leaves a lot of room for cool So stuff. today's fun is going to be trying to waste some money on another sump, which I've already done. So at the moment, I've got the FG sump fitted, but I now have a territory sump after watching the guys from Carnage, seeing how they modified a territory sump which might help us a little bit better. So we'll get the territory sump on with the pickup and we'll get it sitting in the hole today. So just what I did off camera is I just removed the power steering lines and I've hung the sway bar down. Gives a little bit extra room, but yeah, let's just get to work and have some fun. So what we're going to end up doing now is we're going to take the FG sump off and the pickup off, put the territory sump on. So it's only temp fitted at the moment, I think I've only put half a dozen bolts in, which gives us our actual dimensions. So, change this pickup over to a smaller one. I'll show you right, that in a So this is the three sumps that come on majority of our Falcons and Territories. So, on the far side, I call a front sump. So there's the rear, there's the front. So this is on your general BAs and your BF standard Falcons, your turbos and, your, and some Territories I believe. So that's the length of the pickup there. As you can probably notice, it will sit in the tank a bit like that. So here is the all-wheel drive territory one that I've now got. So same back end, but it runs, as you can see, a tin piece. So I'm still trying to get a tin piece that's not fucking $200. Um, same thing again, as you can see, pickups a lot shorter so I'm hoping I only have to you know notch a little bit through here and just put a plate over this section here and we should be good last but not least this is our F so this is an FG sump so there's your rear and it has the actual bulge at the back so and then a little hump down the front so this is what I was originally going to run so that would sit on there like that and after talking to Nick on Gumtree, he was really cool about it. I had to sit there and cut all through here, plate it all in, and I'm not very good with that sort of stuff, so I thought if I go to a territory sump, it only needs a little bit cut out of it, so we're probably only looking hopefully about that much. So I'll get rid of all this, plate all that in, and yeah, we should be good to go. And I just got to find the uh, tin piece waiting on a couple of people to get back to me from Facebook they've been a bit slack but yeah we'll see we go so we'll get that one fitted and then we'll get the engine in the hole
yes it would have been easier if I still did it on the engine stand by trying to flip the bus back over again fuck that all right so we have the pickup and the sums all on so our engine mounts from tough mounts hopefully we can use them may just need to use the old ones and modify but we'll see how we go Right now, ladies and have a look. We have so it is sitting in the car. It's not centralized. The mounts aren't done, but I've got it in. So at the moment, it's just sitting on the power steering pump down here on the next to on the bottom of the sump. So I have to trim a bit out of the sump to get it to fit, which was the plan in the first place. Um, Come around this side, you can probably see it a bit better. So down in there, just have to trim a little bit out of it. Here we have our territory sump. So I've just done some preliminary markings off camera. So I'm gonna have to cut all through here, all the way to about here. So I gotta take that section out. We're coming down to this rib here for clearance. And yeah, we'll see how we go.